My name is Lindsay. I'm the personal trainer at Zap Fitness in Kingston. And today I'm talking about how to foam roll and use a trigger point ball. This is a foam roller and this is a trigger point ball. So you can find them in a lot of different colors and shapes and sizes. Often these can be a bit shorter and these ones can be bigger or spikier or less spiky. Foam rolling. Place your foam roller down on the floor. Find the easiest start is to sit down directly onto the foam roller. I'll start off by foam rolling glutes first. So first of all, you can just roll forward and back with the glutes on the foam roller here. That's the best way to start off. And then as you want to increase your foam rolling, get more deeper into the muscles, you can roll onto one side just to target one glute at a time. You can also stretch your glutes while you foam roll them by bringing one foot up, stacking it on top of your knee there. So that puts the glute muscles on a stretch as you foam roll them. If your glute muscles are tight, this may be quite painful. Nice and slow. And swapping sides. From here, you can move directly into foam rolling your back. Being nice and careful, if you have long hair or hoodie, make sure you're holding on to it, otherwise the foam roller will try and grab hold of it. Leaning back, walking your legs out. The foam roller gradually rolls up your back. And then rolling back down. There might be a few clicks or cracks as you roll. As long as they're not painful, I wouldn't be too concerned. If you find one side needs more attention than another, you can roll slightly to that side and all the pressure will be through on that side to those muscles. I'm stretching my lat now. I can reach my arms up overhead and that will put this lat on a bit more of a stretch as I foam roll. When I finish rolling straight back up, I can put my hands behind my back and up into a sit-in position. From this position, I can move directly into foam rolling my hamstrings by rolling back, hands behind my back here, pressure through my hands, and gradually just rolling back, pressure all the way through my hamstrings here. If you find one, side's, one side needs more attention than another, stack your leg on top, and all the pressure will go through onto that leg. Repeat on both sides. From here, you can move on to your calves. You don't really need to foam roll the backs of your knees. There's not much muscle there, if any. So what I like to do with my calves, start from the ankle and roll upwards. Again, to increase pressure, stack one leg on top of the other. It can be a bit difficult, but you need to lift your body to increase the pressure as you roll down and forward. To get more into the calves, you can turn your leg to roll the side of the calf muscle as well. Again, repeating on both sides. To foam roll the fronts of your legs, again, having the foam roller down on the floor, kneeling down, I'm gonna do shin, shins first. I start with the foam roller at my knees, come forward on my hands, lift my feet off the floor, and ro roll the foam roller down to my ankles and back up. Often people forget that there are muscles in our shins and if they are tight, they can cause a lot of pain. So foam rolling your shins can be very beneficial. From here, we can move directly into quads. So we straighten our legs with the foam roller at our knees and push back so the foam roller rolls from our knees up to our hips along our quads.
Again, if you wanted to put one more pressure down on one quad, you can, though you may find foam rolling quads can be quite painful. That's how you foam roll. The foam roller targets larger muscle groups with its broader pressure. So the trigger point ball targets the smaller muscle groups and then the harder to get to spots. So I'll start off with, I'm gonna do my shoulder blade. So the way I like to do this is place the ball between a wall and my shoulder blade here. And this way I can control the pressure and where it goes. So I'm holding it between the wall and my shoulder and I'm just gonna roll it side to side and up and down, getting into those hard to get to places. So I roll it all the way around my shoulder blade, up and down, I'm just gonna adjust it so it'll be a little bit lower. And I just bend my knees a little bit so that I can get that up and downward motion or move side to side to get it moving across ways. Because it's in my shoulder as well, if I move my arm around, that will move the muscles while I'm putting pressure on them. For any client who has foot pain, I recommend that they use the trigger point ball on their feet. It may seem a little bit strange at first, but you put the trigger point ball down on the floor, under one foot, standing you get a lot more pressure and control over this movement. So you're just rolling it forward and backward along underneath your foot. You have a lot of connective tissue happening down in the base of your foot. You can also use the trigger point ball with your hands, rolling them between your hands, or you can use them on any other part of your body, like a self massage. If you know anyone who would benefit from a trigger point ball or some foam rolling, share this with them and leave us a comment on Facebook.